Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope everybody has had wonderful time with their family and friends and loved ones. Wonderful Hanukkah. We just got back from the Northeast for the last few days of Hanukkah, the last half of Hanukkah. And um, so it was really great to be around people that we love so much and that we miss so much especially where we are right now with uh, where we're living in a beautiful place on the one hand but the exile is very evident to us so I greet you Lashana Tova now why would I do that I'm gonna share a quick story with you if I can about uh, Reb Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev. It said that one time he greeted some of his students uh, with Lashana Tova uh, on the eve of the Gentile New Year. I don't, actually, there are a couple of different versions. I think one was his students and one were just some chassidim that he encountered uh, when he walked by them and said, L'shana tova! And he you know, said it with great joy and happiness. And of course, the chassidim were puzzled and they said, um, Wow, Reb, we don't want to question you, but it's a little weird, you know, what's going on? Can you give us the reason it's not new year we've already had new year and uh reb levi yitzhak of berdichev proceeded to tell them that after yom kippur hashem was going to sign the decree for a good year for the jewish people he was lifting the pen and suddenly the Satan comes to him and says, you know, listen, man, you can't be serious. These people, they only pray when they feel like it, whatever. And the, the defending angel, Michael, said, no, listen, Holy One, we, your people prayed and everyone fasted and everyone really cried out for a good decree. So sign the decree. And of course the Satan said, yeah, they will pray on the days that they're required, but on the days that they're not required, uh, they won't do it. And so the Holy One puts his pen down. He does not sign the decree. Then comes Sukkot and the angels, the good angel, the Michael says, Holy One, see how your people builds sukkahs and um, how they take care and they're praying and they're doing all the right things and of course the satan comes and he says yeah they're here today gone tomorrow their sukkahs are what they are and yes they're the fulfilling the commandments but they don't put the same work into their sukkot as they do into their permanent dwellings. In fact, they're, you know, some of them live in mansions and, you know, they're, they're not giving and they're not doing certain things. So the Holy One puts his pen down. Then comes the Goisha New Year. And it's crazy, you know, they're out, people are getting drunk, people are fighting, and this is just, you know, among, uh, other people it doesn't really say what the Jewish people are doing in this story very likely they are hiding in their houses because you know if people are out getting drunk and just being crazy uh, if you walk out in the street in that time in Poland or wherever good chance if you're Jewish you're gonna get beat up you're gonna get killed and so the good angel Michael says, Holy One, please, you see how your people are crying now? Do you see how they're praying? Do you see how they're trying to 
hold on to what's dear, not only for them, but for you. What's dear to your heart, what's dear to their heart. Please, Holy One, have mercy. And remember that on Rosh Hashanah, that they were praying and praising you and drawing close to you. And for this, the Satan could say nothing. And Hashem signed the decree for a good year on the Goisha New Year. And that's why Reb Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev said to those Hasidim, Lashana Tova. So my prayer, guys, is that it's a good year, even if you're going to reckon it from today until the next time. But my most sincere prayer is that decrees are being signed even now for good. Because as a friend told us when we were um, in their neighborhood for Hanukkah, my wife went over to see a friend that she used to teach with. And the woman said, you know, it doesn't matter what year it is. You deserve good things. You deserve great things. She's speaking to my wife and she's saying because you've done amazing things. My 